Here we are. You can examine a lot of things in this game, pretty much everything, in fact. But the text is kind of small, so you might not be able to read it. So basically the premise of this game is that you play as different people throughout history who are all tied to this Tome of Eternal Darkness. And you can the, the flashing that you're seeing on enemy, on enemy body parts is the part that I'm targeting. You can target different body parts. You don't have to finish enemies off, but yeah, that's your health meter. But when you do, well, it's explained later. And your character will get tired after running for a long time, so you know. Don't step on the gas too much. You know, I don't really have anything to gain by finishing them off, so I won't, just to save time. Yeah, the zombies really aren't much of a threat. Now you know what we were gathering all those blocks for. You have to actually open your menu and use use items most of the time. These green, red, and blue, and purple symbols actually are kind of a central point of the game, and you'll figure out what they are later. Yeah, this is kind of pointless.
really? Why wouldn't you? And now it's decision time. Okay. Each of these three artifacts correspond to a god, basically. Red is Chaturga, the god of, like, matter and strength. Blue is Ulyoth, the god of, basically, magic and mental abilities. And then green is Zelatoth, the goddess of insanity. And each, each one of these will make your game different. Like, if you select red, Chaturga will be your nemesis throughout the entire game. And most of the enemies that you fight will be aligned with him, so they'll do more damage to your health. And you also have lower health meters, so it's kind of... It's kind of called the hard difficulty of the game, but really, I just like Chaturga, so... I'm gonna take this one. And this is where things go straight down the pooper. Hey, Pies, you're not looking so hot. Eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. Chaturga's power filled me, invigorating my dead body. With a touch, I could level buildings, rend the ground asunder, and channel power such as mortal men could only dream. Face me and you shall surely perish. And that's how you get uh, new chapters to play, is you find the pages in the book. say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. So yeah, now we're in Cambodian ruin with Elia, who's a dancer girl. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos. And to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos and she's reading of all the things of darkness, that you now which is an interesting choice of reading amongst the, the beings, beings of flesh and bone. You have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity. That's Mantarok. No He's the corpse god. It as yours. May the darkness claim me. And what he's doing there Damn is casting beast. a spell. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients. You have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Mythical 
local fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic of a higher purpose could happen to me. Yeah. Well, you're about to get your wish, Elia.